that's full of air. All there is is edges. And one of the things I did here is to try to find out how I could change it. And the way I could change it, and the reason I wanted to change it is because I work with earth, water, air, and fire, which is alchemy. And earth is trying to find a form, and water is trying to change it. So I, I couldn't push it, I couldn't twist it, it's too strong. So the only thing I could do was, I thought, is that, you know, water is what changing is flow. So how could I make that flow? I spun it, turned it into a bell. <laughs> and I showed this to a Russian bell expert, and he about fell off his chair, because he said, in the world, we've never known the geometry of the bell. And the geometry of the bell is coming from a tetrahedron, which is fire. And the, what happens is the tetrahedron, which is the first platonic form, is opening up like a flower. So this triangle, and this one, and this one, and this one, are all the same size and area, and it's opened up this far. It's that simple. That's what it is. And the only way I found it was that I put a platonic form, because I knew it wasn't solid to me. I took a platonic form, and I put it inside another platonic form, and then changed it by spinning it, or expanding it, to hit the limit of the other platonic form. It's never been done before because everybody thinks it's solid. So, in that process, okay, I have found all kinds of new forms, four more, that's never been seen before. I don't have any time at all to work with. So, I've been studying this one. And one of the other things I did with it is I put it into edges only. This is what it looks like, I'm sorry, in points only. It's the same form, but just the points. This is the same form, but just the edges. So what happened with this is that I got a form that had three crosses. They touch at the top, and the crosses touch at the hands, and of course the bottom of the feet, which is connected by three, which is the trinity. So this is a very, very new, objective, artistic creation of the crucifixion. Not three crosses separate, but together, holding the heads are together. So the, the thief on one side says, Christ, I don't go for this. And the other thief that said, hey, I like it. Okay. He brought them into balance, which is the first cross. And they touch also by the hands now. They're always separate, remember? And the feet, of course, is touched by this. Look at what's coming from this little form, just at this point. To try to find out what this is, what this represents, what's its significance. So the other way I figured out that I could change this was to put it into soap. I put it into soap. This is just uh, regular dishwashing soap. I don't know if I'm going to get a bubble out of it because the soap is different than what I usually use. Uh, but if I don't, <coughs> it doesn't work. So I'll show you on the. I'll show it to you in here. I'm going to move ahead here, so this what's inspired me. Uh, these are the platonic forms that are 6,000 years old. That's the earth, water, air, and fire, and of course the last one is the Akasha. Uh, also, this was very important to me because when I saw this, this is an Egyptian temple. That's called uh, the Egyptian temple. <coughs> Hathor. And she is all centered around birthing. So women who are pregnant and are going to have their babies go 